Welcome back to The Witcher 3. My current objective is to go to the Baron's Castle to follow up on my next lead on where to find Ciri. But before doing that, I want to do a little bit of adventuring. Nothing too crazy, I'm just going to visit this question mark and then let's go to the Baron's Castle. I kind of want to go down here and just, just do a bunch of adventuring, but uh, I'm thinking that the Baron might give me a quest that has me traveling anyway. So I'll probably end up exploring these places as part of the main quest anyway. Oh, wolves. Hmm. They're pretty high level. But they're usually not too hard. Alright, bring it on. Come on. Damn, you're ugly. Oh, yeah, these have a lot of hit points. A lot more than the other ones. Come on. Come on. Can I just spam this? It kind of stuns him, so it seems like I almost can. Oh yeah, there's a monster nest I need to destroy, I think. Ghoul nest. Mm -hmm. Ought to just destroy it. Right, that's a pile of burning bodies. I was like, wait, where's the nest? <laughs> Whoops. Run! Leos, come here. Is this explosive? Yep. You know, these take a while to work down. I'm going to use Thunderbolt. Thank you. Yep. Let's <laughs> approach a little bit. I did nothing. Oh, I want to. I want to blow up the ghoul. Let's try blowing up the ghoul. Yes, 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 yes. And, 
Oh, okay, got hit a little bit myself, but took it out. I think it got hurt a little bit more than me. Also, it looks like my weapon is close to breaking. Let's use one of my repair kits, which I've never used. 40% of item durability restored. It is currently at 40%. Yeah, I should probably use it. Nice. 78 and 83%. ashes from a corpse. That is grim. Jesus. Corpse ashes. Hmm. To the Baron's castle. Might as well just run. It's now to but a few steps this way. Drive by berry picking. Whoa. What happened to the bridge? Did they just get attacked? Your pale as out is shy. Thanks, you're looking good yourself. Witcher. I know you from somewhere. Roots are gonna rot my gut. One, two, three. Your witch sees thee! <laughs> It's plowing, pouring again. You seem to have just appeared. <laughs> he just materialized out of nowhere and he's got no shoes. He's standing in the mud. He's got like rippled abs, but he's not wearing a shirt and he's in the rain. Well, I mean, when you've got a body like that, I guess why not show it off? Spot a cider for you? Or a bit of dry curd? My lad, it's not exactly burst him, but what I got, sure to please. God, look at his body. Jesus Christ. That man is built like a tank. He works out. Or, well, I mean, <laughs> well, in these times, maybe his workout is just his normal work. You know, if you're something like a blacksmith, you're gonna get, uh, you're gonna get pretty buff doing that sort of work. A lot of hard manual labor and stuff like that. Gwent. Uh, maybe, if I can play for more than 10 crowns or orins or whatever the currency is. Eh, nah, it's not worth it. That's nothing. Oh, except I can't. How about a few rounds of cards? Gwent. I wanted to stop. Forfeit game. You can have my money. I don't care. Spot a cider for you? Like to take a look. See if he has any treasure maps. Oh, shit, that reminds me. I forgot about my treasure map that I got a while ago. I should probably read that. Ooh, Gwen cards. Could use this to bolster my deck. Not that I play Gwent particularly hardcore. Anyway, let's sell my garbage. It's this stuff that's responsible for most of the weight that I have. Yeah, just from that alone, I'm almost at half weight at this point. And the other stuff I don't think I want to sell anyway. Except, uh... Is there a junk category? I guess maybe it's under other. Oh, this dude's too poor to buy it. Okay, then. 
Would you like my fishing net? Pretty sure that's junk. Yeah, I wish, God, I wish there was like a sell junk button. Because some of this stuff is just obviously pointless. I guess you keep it because it can be dismantled into crafting components, but I mean like dolls and fishing rods. Yeah. A candle? What am I going to do with a candle? Eh, that's enough. That's plenty. I'm not going to go too crazy here. And should I buy the cards? Well, I guess I just bought it. Sure, I'll take them all. Farewell. For some reason, I keep uh, kind of regressing into like the old RPG sort of system where you... Well, I don't know if this is the old RPG system, but the RPG sort of sales system that I'm more familiar with is the one where you put all the stuff you want to buy into, a, like your panel, or whatever, the, the, the trade panel, like in the center, and then you press the buy button. For some reason I keep thinking it's still that, and I'm not realizing that when you go to sell something it instantly sells, and when you go to buy something it instantly buys. There isn't like a mid-panel sort of thing. I need to remember that. This is pretty large. There are a lot of them beasties you've, uh, you know. Traveling. <laughs> no, but I can do this. Oh, never mind. Oh. Oh my god, I almost burned her to death. That's why I said you can't do that you can't attack that target. I didn't mean to attack her, I meant to use Quen, but I forgot I had Igni selected. I almost burned a little girl to death. In fact I scared her so much that she left her sword floating in midair. Depends who's asking. A witcher. Wanna talk to him? Well, yeah. And I wanna plow the lovely Queen Cero. Seen this man before. In at the crossroads. You was there not so long ago. Thought you were supposed to go your separate way. Nice and all. It led me here. Gotta talk to the Baron. Oh, aye. What about? Something important. His ears only. Fine. Lodrin. Let him in. If he makes any trouble, well, we had none but him. Open the gate. There's strength in numbers, Sergeant. but not enough strength. Ardle, would you to see the Baron? Don't want no disturbances. That clear? What do you think? Guard called you a sergeant. You a Temerian soldier? Not your concern, mate. Deserter. Temerian army don't exist no more. So what are you all doing here? Had a choice after the Black Ones thrashed us. Let it lie and try to lead normal lives. Or continue to resist, join the guerrillas and fight for our beloved Temeria till death do us part. We chose the former. And the Baron your commander? Hmm. Yeah. Commander. <laughs> Your mate split the loot between them long ago. At least that's what I would have done. And you, shut it now. Save your I have a feeling this meeting with the Bloody Baron is going to be interesting. Infosema! Now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, how we danced, how we twirled, ha ha ha! Ooh! One, two, three, one, two, three, ha <laughs> ha! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. That man is huge. He's a bear. Look at that. Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. I don't really want to talk to this guy. 
<laughs> oh my god, I'm scared. I mean, he seems kind of lighthearted right now, but you don't... Again, you don't get the name Bloody Baron for nothing. I get the feeling he does everything at his whimsy, and if he suddenly feels like killing you for sport, for fun, he would. I guess I should try to be polite. Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality, especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm... I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. Make yourself at home. Hey, where'd I put the bloody vodka? Ah, there it is. A snifter. Hmm. I feel like he'd be insulted if I refused the drink. And witchers, <laughs> witchers can hold their liquor pretty well, given the stuff that they've ingested, and the way the the way their metabolism works. So, sure. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltest dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell! Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stringer. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Well, it's certainly not lovely. Uh, so far it's just mostly pissed rain all the time and been gloomy and lots of dead people and yeah, lots of hanged people. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna be polite, but I'm not gonna make things seem rosier than they appear. He's not... he's obviously not stupid. And I don't think he'd, he's the sort of person that would like to be buttered up. He seems quite blunt. I don't. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. Oh, whoa. I knew you could get to, uh, you got to play a Siri at some point. I didn't realize it would happen so soon. Sweet. When you play a Siri, you cannot access the inventory or use signs. <sighs> that was close. I must leave this place. Oh, that is so cool. I can't access the inventory, so, but I can still gather ingredients. <laughs> Apparently I can. Okay. Here we go. Hey, wait, she only, has, she only has one sword. Just silver? Yeah, just... No, wait, that's... Whoa, what the hell was that? Okay! 
I really like that ability. That is my roll. Instead of my roll, I have this. This is the space bar. Yeah, with Geralt, that would have rolled. And, whoa, okay, that was weird. And instead it, like, dashes. Like, teleporting dash. That is so freaking sweet. Oh god, even her ult is, like, the same thing. Lose my way. Ooh. If that's true, what are you doing so deep in the forest alone? Looking for lost little girls. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. Why don't you tell me where you live? In Lindenvale. They'd see to your wounds there. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail, but then I saw a butterfly, and I ran to catch it, and I lost my way. Well, maybe if I escort her home, will they'll accept me? I mean, they might accept me anyway, but, you know, it never hurts to help a little bit, get some goodwill going. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. A werewolf? Or a warg? Great fangs. Yeah, I don't know. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. <sighs> this is so cool that I get to play as there. So I can't open the inventory, huh? So I, do I have no potions then? Just the map? Yeah, I guess so. Wolves! Quick, hide! Yeah! Jeez, this ability, even though it looks really cool, it's actually not very effective. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I also keep dodging too late. You can come out now. My your brains. My father can even do that. Mine could do a lot more. Come. Look! There's something there. Oh, Jesus. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But... No buts. Stay here. I must see something. Oh, that little girl is surprisingly unfazed by the fact that half, the lower half of that man is missing and his guts are spilling out. It's like she doesn't even care. It's like she's seen it before. Like an everyday occurrence. Which, I mean, in the world of the Witcher, maybe it is. Hmm. Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Hmm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible! Stay there, and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Whoops. Hmm. <laughs> Stay. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, his liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except, he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He... had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. <laughs> when did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. So there was a point to gathering up those ingredients. Also, I really like Gretka. <laughs> She's really cool. She's a smart one. Fool's parsley. Oh, looks like I need to follow her again. Haha, <laughs> I'm faster than you because my legs are longer. Dodging. It doesn't really work. It, it's hard to explain, but it doesn't work the same way it does with Geralt and doesn't allow me to do the same things. Stay 
gone. You can come out. You cut him up bad. The wolf king will be angry. Do parents often send their children out to follow the sweets? Sometimes they send their children. Sometimes they go themselves. Do they return? All right. I have everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire and brew the oil in peace. What are you doing? Greasing my blade. There. You'll see just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. just occurred to me that I don't have the Witcher's senses, like I do with Geralt. Normally you right-click and then it does the zoom-in thing and all that stuff, but it doesn't do anything for her. This way! Through the cave! You lead. It's a bit dark. Afraid? Are you? No. Then I'm not even. That is not hiding. She's like playing up there. That was too easy. Give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Oh, Yaren, must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but Yaren. Uh... The little one. No details. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. And that lord was the Bloody Baron. I'm guessing. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. <laughs> well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? Oh my god. You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hounds on you. I'm surprised he didn't kill that guy. Seems like something the Bloody Baron would do, given his personality. That guy's ballsy. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. 
Gretka in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. Another time? I think now's a pretty good time. Let me guess, he wants me to do something for him before he tells me the rest. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family, but then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. God! This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Don't stare. I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. Can't start searching till I know what they look like. Tamara, my daughter, turned 19 in the spring. Slender lass, about yay tall, comes up to my shoulders. Beautiful eyes, green like her mother's. My wife, Anna, has two score winters behind her that she'd never admit it. Dark hair, thick as tar, keeps it tied up in a bun. You try to search for them? Sent men out right away, but they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks. If you're looking to hide someone, this is the place. Anything unusual happen before they disappeared? They act differently, do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well. Devoured another last before her. Common occurrences in Velen. And my women, Anna, quiet as a mouse as ever. And Tamara, occupied with her things. Nothing unusual. Maybe they were kidnapped. Got any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any who might have, they've been eating dirt long since. This place. Must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? They wanted for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word! Had your men in mind. Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horsons, but they know their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. I finally leveled up. Took long enough. You know, it occurs to me... 
that I'm judging the Bloody Baron a lot based on his name. His name is the Bloody Baron, so I'm assuming he's, you know, a violent, kind of disturbed individual, but... But if I look at what he's actually done so far and what I've seen, nothing he's done would indicate that he's a bad person, really, right? I mean, he's gruff... Uh... <laughs> That's about it. He's kind of gruff and to the point. It's, it's not really bad. He hasn't hurt anyone. He's... That I've seen. I mean, he might be a terrible person, but I don't think anything I've seen so far would indicate that, so I should probably stop judging him based on his name. I mean, shit. <laughs> think of what people call Geralt of Rivia. You know? Kingslayer and stuff like that. Do they call him Kingslayer, or is that Game of Thrones? I don't know. They call him nasty stuff, anyway. And obviously I don't deserve a bad reputation, so it's only fair that I give the Bloody Baron a fair shake, too. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? <laughs> You see it there? Oh, oh, what's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. What the? <laughs> Tamara's room is there. Those animations did not look right. What the hell? For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. Looks like there's blood on the ground, but I guess it's maybe just spilled wine or something? I'm guessing I probably shouldn't loot anything also, so I'm just gonna leave that there. I don't think he'd notice, but still. Let's not risk it. Oh Jesus. That stuff looks really, really valuable, but I'm not going to take it. Not going to take it. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Secret panel. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Huh. Gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side? Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm, fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Ah, there's the stain on the ground now. Huh. Rest of the candlestick. And wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah. Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Very funny. I wonder if I can scare you with magic. You bold, grey boy. I am. You have set the cards they might attack you. Please don't. I'm going. Damn. Trail breaks off. Could find something else, though. Hmm. Floorboard. Talisman. Hmm. Sprucewood. Smells of juniper incense. 
Some sort of folk talisman, protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Done poking around? Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Yeah, so somebody got into a fight, and they had enough time to try to cover up what they had done. Because they moved one of the paintings and used it to cover up the hole in the wall, right? Hmm. But did the Baron not notice that the painting had moved? Didn't he? Wouldn't he find that suspicious? It's strange. Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men air loose. Oh damn it! Oh, I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. If he was incredibly drunk that night, is it possible he did something himself and doesn't remember it? He got angry? He messed up the wall? Ah, but what about the talisman? Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coop lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. I ought to have a chat with this Peller. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. <laughs> Not really interested in his hobbies. <laughs> Just want to ask about the amulet. <laughs> Not interested in his hobbies. So those are his hobbies? One fucked up face. Thanks. Oh, all right. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. I really do like this game. I like it. I like it more and more every time I play it. God, it's really good. It's really, really good. The storylines are interesting, the combat's good, the graphics are amazing. It's just really good. Alright, so I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.